I'm excited about this project because it recognizes an unaddressed need that exists with wildland firefighting. We've worked with Darley as an industry expert as well as our National Park Service firefighters to really hone in and find or create a vehicle that'll get them further out of the grid and have those communication capabilities that they did not previously have. With Bronco being created to go anywhere, do anything, and get people further out into the outdoors than they ever thought they could from a vehicle, that came with great responsibility. It comes with the responsibility of needing to preserve and protect our lands, which is exactly why Bronco Wild Fun was created. We were able to bring in several of our Ford accessories, including the Warren Witch, the Yakima roof rack, our rigid light bars, all serve a very clear purpose in the build of this vehicle, helping our wildland firefighters get further out into the outdoors. I'm most excited about the service that this is going to be able to do and that it's going to help address the outdoors and make sure that it stays a wonder for all um, with preventing and hopefully reducing the risk of natural fires. With Bronco being created to go anywhere, do anything, and get people further out into the outdoors than they ever thought they could from a vehicle, that came with great responsibility. It comes with the responsibility of needing to preserve and protect our lands, which is exactly why Bronco Wild Fun was created. New technology has been, it's been the core of what Darley's done back, going back to 1908. And, and so I think that this vehicle and what we're, what we're doing today exemplifies that mission. The, the Bronco Badland Sasquatch vehicle, as you look at it, go anywhere, do anything, operate in any env environment. So the end result is basically a vehicle that can go about anywhere at, a, at any time and be able to operate with, with the communication gear and, and the drones and all the special equipment and now have a command center that, that is gonna keep the, the uh, whole unit safe. And we're working with new technology that, that will make it safer and, and, and simpler for first responders to operate in difficult environments. This is a vehicle that, that provides a, lo a lot of solutions and, and components to, to make firefighters' jobs simpler, or uh, first responders' jobs more simple safer, and, and, and again, um, accessed anywhere, anytime. This Bronco with this smaller footprint, it's agile, it's dynamic. It, it allows you to kind of be nimble while you're out in the wildland. And then, of course, with the, the integrated technologies from the satellite antenna to the LTE blend to the mesh network to the redundant power, these are all things that kind of Moore's Law has gotten better, faster, smaller, cheaper. and it's now all integrated into something that, that you see over my shoulder that's allowing first responders to do their job better, faster, safer than ever before. This is a culmination of a lot of partners and technologies bundled up into this Ford Bronco project where we are integrating technology to empower wildland firefighters to be able to go out into the wild and be able to pull out their cell phones or pull out their devices and allow them to work. We wanted to use a platform like the Bronco that was smaller, more agile, more purpose-built, and fill it with technology that just allowed first responders to focus on the task at hand. They're, especially in this context, I mean, you're worried about uh, where, you know, do you have enough supplies on you when you're going out of the field, uh, where, where the, 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 what, what the wind pattern is like. So the whole point here is to not overload the cognitive load of first responders and just allow them to focus on the task at hand and make them better, faster, safer at, at what they've been trained to do and, and make sure that they're not worrying about if their cell phone's gonna work. Of course, there's the nostalgia with the Bronco and I was always just have grow, grew up watching and learning about the Bronco, um, but of course it's now been revamped and now you're looking at a culmination of hard work by Ford, but now also working with Darley, integrating a lot of different of the best technologies to make it purpose-built and applied for first responders and public safety, and in particular for this one, for the wildland, where you're talking about the post-disaster, you're talking about when it's, uh, there might be a situation where there are not cellular towers within a couple hundred miles.